What's up, y'all? Welcome to another edition of Big Woo's Movie TV Reviews, where I take reviews on certain TV shows and movies and give them my personal point of view. These are just my point of view, so take it with a grain of salt. And today I'm going to review, well, actually this morning. <laughs> I figured let me take some time. I'm at work. So this morning, well, today, same thing. I'm going to review the movie I seen the other night, and everybody's talking about it. And we're talk, I'm talking about um, Stephen King's remake to It. You know, it's based on his novel, and it's also a remake of the 1990s miniseries with Tim Curry. And basically, this is very, very scary, and it's very funny. I mean, this was a well-put-together movie, and... I remember seeing the old 1990s version with Tim Curry, you know, and like I said, that was in that generation. I, ne I haven't read the novel. I mean, I'm not a Stephen King person, but you know, these movies are based on his novels. So I don't know, but like I said, this movie <laughs> hits it on the nail. This Pennywise will make Tim will make Tim um, Curry's Pennywise shit bricks. Let's put it like that. Because this Pennywise, paid by this guy Bill Skarsgård, whatever his name is, he, whew, he made it creepy. He made him scary. I mean, the reason why I really saw it is because, you know, I'm not a horror person per se, but I got some horror films, you know, but basically the type of horror films I like to look at it's basically based on psycho killers and boogeymen, you know, because I'm a fan of the Freddy Kruegers, the, the Jason Voorhees, the Michael Myers, the Chuckies, the Jigsaws. You know, I'm a fan of that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a fan of, you know, psycho killers. And Pennywise, this movie, it, I'm putting that to my list when it comes out on Blu-ray DVD combo down the road. But Pennywise is very dark. This is gritty. And the movie is rated R. And I remember one critic said that this movie is, is like Nightmare on Elm Street meets The Goonies. Well, after I saw it, to me, it's like Nightmare on Elm Street meets The Goonies with a little touch of South Park. I'm going to explain what I mean by that. But like I said, the movie is well, the movie is well put together. It's very creepy, the music, and of course all the jump scares. It's a typical horror film, but you know, if you have a fear of clowns, because I, I heard there is a phobia about fear of clowns, I wouldn't want you to see this, because this will shit your pants, and I'm going to tell you. And let me talk about the story, basically. The story takes place on a town called Derry, Maine, and you have these six, seven kids who, calls them, who call themselves the Losers Club. Basically, they're all... Un what's the word for it? They're, um, bear with me. Um, they're misunderstood, you know, abused. You know, basically they're just not popular. And all seven of them band together because they all have the same thing, and that's why they call themselves the Losers Club. You know, you got Billy, you got this kid, you got Billy, Eddie, Richie, Beverly, you know what I'm saying? You've got this heavy set kid. I forgot some of the names, but they're, you know, good kids. But, you know, but then they're tormented by this bully who calls himself Harry. Harry and his little friends. And, you know, this kid Harry, he, he's very sadistic as a bully. He's one of the type of bullies I kind of remember growing up, you know. He's very sadistic, but, you know, but the losers, but well, one of the losers, you know what I'm saying, lost someone that they care about in the beginning of the film, you know, his brother, to Pennywise. And now they have to find out what's going on and why has this been happening and why the parents are not noticing this, you know? And to talk about the statement, I said that this is like a cross, this is like, Nightmare on Elm Street meets the Goonies with a touch of South Park. Now, when I say with a touch of South Park, because this is rated R, by the way, these kids are raunchy. These kids are dropping F-bombs, talking about 
dicks, talking about fuck and all this, saying all this shit as little kids. I'm like, wow, that's pretty entertaining. I mean, <laughs> I mean, seeing little kids curse and all that, I mean, I don't know. It's kind of entertaining, but you know. But like I said, the movie is also funny. Because, like, it's a combination of scary and funny. I mean, it's it's dark and scary with Pennywise, but there are also some funny moments with the losers with their puns and catchphrases and everything. And... This, like I said, this is a well put together horror film. Like I said, I'm not a horror person like that. I look at I look at certain horror. Once again, I explained it, but this is a well put together film, and I'm really impressed. And like I said, I wasn't a fan of the original because I I remember I watched it, but I might want to watch it now. But whew, this Pennywise is just oof. Even this movie gave me a chill. I haven't had a chill watching this movie in a long time, especially a scary movie of this stature. I mean, this movie is dark, scary, and funny. And overall, I recommend you see this. This is a great film, you know, for horror fans. They already hyped it up as the, as the best horror film of the year. I'm going to have to go with it, but remember, there's other horror films, because this year, to be honest, horror hasn't really hasn't been knocking on the head this year, so Stephen King's It is definitely knocking a lot of heads. I mean, but maybe it might be the horror film of the year. I don't know. There's other films coming out, like the Jigsaw, like Jigsaw's coming back, so, but overall, right now, as it stands, this is definitely... Oh, this is definitely one of the um, best horror films of this year. And this is going on my countdown because around the, around the end of the new year, I'm going to do my special top 10 best 2007 movies. So that video is coming around towards the new year, but this movie is in my list. I'm not going to say when, I'm not going to say where, but it's in my list. So overall, go see It, Stephen King's It. It's worth it. I personally give this movie an A. An A. You enjoy it. You love scary films. You love psycho killers. And this is the cyclist. I don't know if that's the word cyclist. <laughs> but it's worth it. Go see it. Stephen King's it. You definitely enjoy it. You'll definitely get a scare. It's definitely worth it. But other than that, that's my review. So thank you for watching. And if you got any comments, and if you got any comments about what I just said, what do you think of the movie? Tell me, what do you think of the movie? Did you like it? Did you don't like it? Did you hate it? Did you love it? You know, leave comments on the bottom. And you know, and subscribe to my and subscribe to my channel, which is Big Rule28 at YouTube.com. Big Rule28. <clears throat> you know? I just do movie reviews and Maybe other videos, probably about something, but I don't think of something. But subscribe to my channel. This is my YouTube channel, Big Rule 28. So that's all the time you have. I'll be back again. My next review was going to be Kingsman, The Golden Circle. And with that being said, this is Aki Big Rule Samai telling you take care of yourselves and watch out for scary clowns. <laughs> Other than that, take care. God bless. Talk to you soon.